think the challenge for all of us in business now is just the complexity of the markets in which we operate. The competition's more diverse, there's lots of different technologies out there, political interference has increased, there's greater trade uncertainty, and there's greater uncertainty across the whole of, of Europe because we're not sure of what the outcome. This is making investment decisions particularly problematic. If we, if we don't get into the voids that are being created and the opportunities are being created, there are many other new participants who will come in there. There's some really smart people in PE that are entering our industry. There's lots of smart, but currently very small, fintech companies. We'll see new competition from China and Japan that we've never seen before. And we'll also potentially see firms from Africa. Whether it's helping to regenerate Salford or Cardiff or Leeds, whether it's creating innovative new products for financial services, whether it's winning mandates in Korea or Japan or in North America that actually make a difference to our cost customers. That's the purpose that we have. And I'm seeing tremendous emotional engagement by our colleagues who see us doing the right things for society and want to be part of that journey. How much ambition do we have and what are the barriers to change? I have this expression, we are the we. Lots of people tell me about they who is stopping them doing things. The they doesn't really exist in a sense. If we are the we and we want to drive change and make things happen, and we've, we've lots of examples of that in, in our firm, which I'm very prou proud of, people coming up with ideas and then almost being surprised when we go around and implement them and make them happen. And a year later, they've happened because new technology allows you to do things much, much quicker. Technology is going to play an increasing role of aligning uh, the purpose of our organisation with our strategy. We are still in the very early days of implementing the technological solutions which are good for society and good for, good for customers. The heart of business at the moment is does the public and do, do regulators and do politicians trust businesses and ethics and culture sit at the heart of that. I think we'll see more voluntary measures of how we're doing on those measures and therefore customers and society at large will want to see, yes, this is an organisation I trust, this is an organisation I respect, this is an organisation I'm prepared to do business with.